Hello there, welcome to SATV, I'm JD Bal. I am fully aware that you guys are wondering why students are banning lecture halls at the University of KZN and I'm here to explain why. Now, according to the independent online newspaper, students at the University of KZN Peter Marisberg campus started violent protests and the burning down of lecture halls. The burning is said to have started after students were clashing with the security guards at the university. The fire is reported to have been set alight around midnight and the university security guards guards could not stop the protesting students. Firefighters were called on the scene to come and stop the fire. The real reason the university student started the violent protest was that they were having debt issues with the university and they appeared to be failing to reach agreement with the university. UKZN spokesperson Ashton Broderick said that the university could not make any further concessions to the students without driving the university into bankruptcy. He further said that the university University could not concede what it could not afford. Students have been fighting for the abolition of their historical debt and having to pay 15% of their debt. Student leaders argued that poor students cannot afford to pay 15% which offense runs into thousands of rents. The university reported to be having a debt of 1.7 billion at the end of 2019. However, students' representatives suggested that the university should cut down their expenditures in order to generate money to recover their debt. If you listen carefully to this story, you will realize that this is the struggle to most of South African universities, especially those that accommodate students from poor families. It also shows that higher education remains a struggle for poor students in South Africa, even though the government is trying to provide funding for higher education through NESFAS and different bazaaries. I am of the view that South African students should end the culture of trying to resolve their problems by burning down of lecture halls and other infrastructure. The infrastructure that they damage will need more money to repair and it will cost more harm to the students. Maybe it's about time the South African government realizes the importance of giving education to students who cannot afford. If you like this video, give it a thumb up. Subscribe to our channel for SATV. I'm JD Bal. Bye-bye.